All right, today I'm gonna to review and personally try out one of, if not the cheapest and best-selling power cages that are available on Amazon. At the time of this recording, it is the first day of the Prime sales. So this thing is sitting at $309, but if you're watching this at a later date, this does seem to fluctuate back down to this price from time to time, so odds are in a later date, you'll probably see this. This sports rails company has been around for a long time. Like I said, I've been watching this particular rack for a while, seeing how it's been selling. It's been selling very well. Don't seem to be any huge issues. Of course, this is a budget rack and I am not my own gym here. This was just sent to me free for review and not a paid promotional video. I will give you guys my honest feedback about this. I'm actually in a former student's gym who's looking to kind of get some home gym equipment together with their family. And this actually matches pretty well just by chance with this red motif with their Blackhawks logo. So I think that's pretty cool, worked out. But if this thing does not work out, I told them, you know, if this thing is a piece of junk and you guys don't like it, we can always swap it out and get you guys something else. So I'll be completely honest with you guys, but obviously not my own home gym environment. I'm gonna put it through the ringer here in a variety of workouts and exercises. Of course, this thing is not perfect. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this and support the channel, please like, share, subscribe. I will link this product down below in the description box. It really helps support me and the channel. If you guys do go ahead and click that affiliate link on anything I show on this channel. So before I go ahead and start my workout here, I'll just comment very briefly on some things that I'm seeing. Uh, you guys will see some close-up shots of these attachments. Of course, this is kind of what you expect at this price point. I'm not expecting anything crazy. Definitely in the lighter, uh, seems flimsy. We'll see how long it lasts type of category. Uh, definitely decent height and spacing. It's got some etch numbering here, you know, passing the shake test. Yes, this thing is gonna sway from side to side based on the construction. They did say this thing was pretty minimal in instructions and pretty easy to assemble. They put this together, I think, in roughly one day. It says it can hold up to 1,200 pounds. So well over, I think, the capabilities are for most people, but I will kind of stress test this a little bit. But if I'm going off the sheer number of volume that these things are moving, I don't think there's anything scary to necessarily worry about as far as these things kind of collapsing or bending or warping. I think those problems would have been addressed uh, a long time ago, or you definitely would have seen it come through in the reviews. Definitely a budget standard fare setup, but with that said, you are kind of covered with some overall basic components you essentially need to kind of get yourself going. So I'm not trying to sugarcoat it at all. I'm just st stating some points you're seeing a lot in these units. Got a landmine attached, we're gonna use that here in a second. You got some very stubby kind of spotter arms here that if I was benching on this, I wouldn't like this, but since we got a power rack, I'll be inside with the safety arms here for some extra safety, especially as I'm recording this by myself. Comes with some basic attachments and clips, and I actually should hook them up with some stronger stuff here, because these are, I don't think these handles would last very long at all. Rope is pretty decent. Lat pull down and this curl bar have like some plastic coating, feel very cheap. They'll get the job done. I don't think they're gonna break, but definitely something you'd wanna upgrade down the line. This pulley mechanism has some friction to it. It's not super smooth. You could certainly kind of grease this up a little bit, and I'd probably recommend they do that so it runs a little bit smoother. And then pretty small J hooks. Uh, I think they'll hold, but we will see that in here in a second. So I brought some of my strength co weights down below, and you can see on the weight horn, the way it kind of holds up, it kind of likes to flop over to one side. Brought them a barbell, actually give them. So there's a barbell holder off to the side, so that's good. All right, some post-workout thoughts going through my head using this Sports Royale power cage. It's always funny, whenever I use these or any kind of power cage, I always think there's like pros and cons of each machine. Even my machine that has like, is like $3,000 or $4,000 at home, that's a squat rack. There are some things in here that this thing does better that I actually like about it, so take that for every will. I will say right up front, uh, the biggest thing going through my head is positive thoughts that as I was doing a whole workout, as you guys are seeing here, I thought this thing does everything very well. I think the things that it doesn't do or that you're assuming it's not gonna be so good at is basically there. For $300, the biggest thought going through my brain is I could easily get by with this if I was looking to kind of test the waters, want a very budget friendly but very practical rack and I'll talk about that. I think this one is definitely a top contender. Couple reasons why, I mean, one is just very simplistic in the way it's designed. You wanna break it down or throw it away even, it's only $300, so it's not gonna really break the bank. Safety is probably the biggest concern, I will say that when you're in that price territory. I would, even though this thing's rated for 1,200 pounds, there was nothing negative in the reviews about safety. I think that would have been addressed, like I said, at the start of the video. But with that said, would I wanna trust putting 405 in here? Probably not, uh, but, I think I could probably handle it. I think if you're lifting that heavy, you should probably spend a little more money for something that's a little more safer, more sturdier. Uh, the shake test, I think any of these budget racks in this territory, you're gonna do that. Although I will say I've tried racks that are 2,000 plus dollars that you can literally rattle and shake. So that's not always a sign of safety. Sometimes it's just obviously the nature of the build quality and you shouldn't be putting hard lateral force on this thing anyways. What I do like about this thing, Again, staying on the pros, I actually like this center pulley. I think it was practical for what it was. Of course, there's some sacrifices. You're only doing a, when you're doing the seated pull, 
it's you know right kind of at the lower kind of a pole it's not a center pole you are limited with how much extension you got so if you're i'm six foot if you're six foot plus and you're doing bicep curls you might you'll probably hit the top of that so you need some chains or something but pull downs triceps and arms feel really good I like all these machines there's a little bit of a friction but there's no sticking points in this machine so i don't really mind that as far as how it glides lap pull downs felt excellent I'll say this again, of course, all the attachments are very cheap feeling, but as you're doing the workout, it wasn't something that I felt like made the workout feel worse. You can always upgrade these things, but you saw how I put the bar across the center and just kind of locked my legs in that way to kind of lock myself in for lat pull downs. That actually worked out very well. So I do like this center pull. There's decent space here. I think if you were gonna be squatting, I didn't squat today, you would be fine there. But I will say you got all your bases covered for the practical stuff you would do. Even going back to like classical old school of bodybuilding or strength training where you can do your barbell lifts inside of here. And the really the main pulley points are gonna be your low and high pulley point. And those are working out functionally totally well. The weight also feels pretty heavy on the pulley ratio. You guys saw me doing the pull-up bar. Again, no knurling, but I like that there is a, a neutral grip and a center grip. It's thinner, kind of a smaller grip, but honestly, you can do everything you want there. Dips, I said initially, I thought were a little wide, but as I was doing this, they actually felt like a normal distance, I would think, in a dip station. So I think the dips are actually uh, adequate, but if you got bad shoulders, I think dips are gonna be an issue anyways. I felt safe inside the power cage when I was doing some benching. There were some issues where I had to go ahead and unscrew this because if the weight's on here, you were probably gonna hit some uh, weights with the barbell. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. You got the barbell holder here, so that's another functional, nice pro attribute. I can see this is kind of wanting to slope down a little bit. Might just be you know, some of the weight or the load, I'm not sure. You don't got a whole lot of real estate on here. I got my strength co weights, link them down below if you guys are curious. But if you get bumper plates, you're not gonna fit a whole lot on there. And I think you're gonna get more of a tighter kind of a drip there on that bottom position. You got your band pegs down here. I don't even have that in my other, um, you know, $3,000, $4,000 functional trainer. So that's actually a pro that I don't even have. Uh, the landmine feels good. Nothing really to write home about though. Feels smooth and works where it should be. But that's really it guys. My initial thought or fear with this was that one safety, but two with at $300, that's very, very cheap. For what it is, I think you get all the practical things that you really need. I am not just saying this. I think if I was wanting to go as minimal as possible, but get the benefits of just having a power rack within having some sort of cable capabilities, I don't know of another unit out there that really has this unique practical setup. I keep using that word practical because I think it, it actually works because I got everything I really want here other than maybe like a middle pull station. But even that predominantly, it's either top or bottom pull for most people. That's it though, guys. Any questions, comments, feedback, let me know and I'll see you on the next video.